Hello and welcome to a full 2021 month by month energy and star sign reading or a month by month full breakdown breakdown. So what we will do uh, <laughs> can't talk. What we will do is we look at your star sign, your individual star sign, month by month by month and see what we can um, ascertain about 2021. Um, to give you, in a way, not only a better idea of what's to come, but also hopefully equip you by giving you a uh, heads up um, with ideas how to prepare, or, uh, yeah, it's probably the best way to say it, uh, how to prepare for situations that, that, that may arise, okay? What will happen is this. As you know, if you are um, a subscriber or a regular viewer, everything has an overall energy. And so before we go into your star sign and look at months by months by months what's going on, we will still have to look at the overall energy, which is what we're doing now. Now, the overall energy for 2021 applies to all star signs. So should you be a person that says, I'm that star sign, and then I'm going to watch this for my friend, who is that star sign. Um, you will notice that the overall energy video, this, this little clip before we go into the individual star signs, has been used for all the 12 star signs, because the overall energy simply doesn't change <laughs> for uh, from star sign to star sign. What does change is obviously the energy within the star sign. Speaking of which, um, the monthly um, videos that we do, uh, well, I should probably rephrase that, the weekly videos that I normally record with or without guests will continue because as nice as this is to have a look at projecting based on the energy that the guides give us, um, when we do um, a weekly video, it is a tad more specific and maybe a tad deeper so don't miss this please subscribe please share um, if that makes sense so and now we're looking at the overall energy for 2021 since this is a long year um, we're gonna break this up a little so we're looking into what the energy of the year is actually going to be like and see what the guides tell us <clears throat> because it might just change again uh, with the seasons and then we look into um, all the other things like, you know, what, what can you expect uh, with um, regards to any uh, business ventures you want to undertake, um, love, and then whatever else the guides bring, bring up, if that makes sense. So let's have a look at what we can expect from 2021 to begin with, if that makes sense, right? Let's have a look. <laughs> okay, 2021, energetically speaking, feels or will be actually much better than 2020. Well, that's easy because 2020, by all accounts, was absolute shit. <laughs> right? So here's what the guys tell us about 2020. What they're asking us to do is to remember that as someone spiritual, you will have realized already that you create your energy and if you make life the best it can be, that also filters down to anyone and everyone you meet. And that's what the guides are saying to you. In 2021, new portals will actually open. This will be a much more spiritual year. This will be a year where we connect much better to our guides, which is also needed because don't be a sheeple. Seriously, pay attention. Feel what's going on, uh, on on the planet, right? And bring your energy to the world to um, counterbalance any panic that you see around you, you know, um, the negativity that, that, that is sort of unfortunately happening in this, in this world. Really, really important, but new doors will be open, will be opening, really, really important. 
And when new doors are open, you still have to decide whether or not you want to walk through. And that's what the guides are saying. Be a bit of a wild card in 2021. Try new things because they will be rewarding and you will be rewarded, if that makes sense. It sounds a bit weird, but that's just how my guides phrase it, for your bravery. So, and then the most important thing as the energy for 2021 is for all of us, including myself, everybody, you know, it's the overall energy, you know, is to, so this is what the, what, what the, 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 the card says, and I think it's quite nice, surrender to the sweetness of life. So you create your own energy, keep your energy high, love life, embrace life, and bring that energy to 2021. Um, it's not really rocket science, but what they're saying to you is, or to us is, and we will have a look obviously uh, a little bit deeper into 2021 in a minute, but because the overall energy tells us that it is up to us individually to bring about an energy shift, it's not the easiest thing to do. And, and where do you start? You start with yourself. You start with saying like, yay, life is great. And you do all your weird things that crack you up. Really important if you, you know, have reasons to crack up in the morning. I've been doing this for years. I just do something silly in the morning and it cracks me up. No end. <laughs> and um, and it, it, it works for me. Because 2021, energetically speaking, is actually a year of pleasure. A year of joy, which we so badly need. Now, that doesn't mean that the, the governments of this world um, won't continue uh, scaremongering, you know, rolling out vaccinations and scaring the shit out of people, <laughs> right? Or coming up with new restrictions. <clears throat> Who knows? The point the guides are making is, even though you may not be able to change what a country, let's just say, imposes on you, within all that, you can make an awful lot of change. And they're saying to you, the higher your energy is, the more joy you feel. Um, and, and 2021 will support that. This is a year of joy. So it's like, yeah, and we got this. And so the energy will be reflecting that very idea of, of having f fun, having joy, having pleasure. Because that creates high energy. And the higher the energy, the easier it is to make changes, to bring changes to the life <coughs> we're all living, or to the lives we're all living, right? So the reason why this is a bit vague is because everything is always in flux. So when people say like, oh, that's, that's definitely what's going to happen in 2021, my experience is that you can never really uh, say like, that's definitely what's going to happen because you, ha you also have free will. You could, personally, decide against it if that makes sense. So this is overall energy. And again, within it, you have to see what's what's going on. Um, it will be much clearer. We'll get much clearer, I suppose, um, when we look at the individual star signs anyway, um, when we look at, you know, what's, what's going on there. But let's just have a look at certain things for 2021. And people somehow, you know, somehow feel, seem to be really interested in, in in their their businesses. I want to be more successful. And I get that. But success is a weird thing in that it doesn't necessarily define you. What it probably brings you is this financial stability and maybe allows you to do what you want to do. And that's all good. And we're going to look at this. But energetically speaking, it is much more important that you as a spiritual being trapped in a body <laughs> so to speak um, have a sense of belonging and a sense of being loved so let's just look at what 2021 holds for us on a on an emotional level um, with regards to To yeah, yeah, to being to, to love and being to being loved, right? So we have the totem, the dove, and the cat. Interesting, because remember, in the beginning of this um, 
video, the guides were saying that new portals are opening and that it is important that you make it your, your own. And totem, for want of a better word, means family, means tribe. So 2021 is the year, and this is awesome, where you will find your tribe and where should you have already found it. Relationships within your tribe are much better, which also means that relationships on a love, uh, um, love level um, will get much more solidified, which is really, really good. And there's a couple of interesting things because you have the dove and, and the cat. So what they're, oh, this is again, you know, you have free will, that's, so that's why I see this as a suggestion. Um, even, but it's based on the fact that the energy supports that. Because we have the dove and the cat with regards to love and being loved and belonging somewhere, right? Be peaceful. Don't argue because it's a, dif it's a difference between mm, speaking your mind, speaking your truth, expressing yourself and getting irate and angry and upset about it, which ultimately lowers the energy a little. Well, if, there, if an argument is heated or, or, com or even a conversation is heated, energy always suffers a bit. <laughs> but what they're saying is in 2021, just pay attention to your energy at all times. And because we're talking about love and being loved and the feeling of, you know, how do I, how do I, how do I keep this up? How do I make sure that the person I love is supported by me? And the person I love or the people I love support me. And this may or may not be surprising to some of you because we have the cat. And what they're saying is in any relationship, and that includes work, but we're not talking about work now, we're talking about love. In any relationship, it is important that you remain yourself. And because you have the cat, what they're saying is, do your own thing as well, right? Make time for relationships. I also have the feeling we have to sort of, in a way, prioritize our relationships. So it's not that you can just do whatever the heck you want, well, you could, but you know, you do whatever the heck you want and then you wonder why the relationship is falling apart. So they ask me to pay attention to the, to the needs, if that makes sense, of the relationship. You know, maybe it is important that the, the, the people or the partner you're with um, needs a bit more of your time, right? So give that. At the same time, the cat is basically saying to you, if you are a person that has a hobby, if you are a person that, that um, works spiritually and therefore, you know, or, or, or even if you work as, as anything, <laughs> um, that is sort of your thing, sort of self-employed. Um, or if you work for the better for the betterment of people, society, you know, all that kind of stuff, you will need time to look at what you're doing, um, <clears throat> fire, you know, come up with new ideas, all these kind of things. So what the guides are saying is, be the cat, remove yourself at times, and because this is your energy for the year, your partner will very likely or should really do the same and you can expect them to understand that you can't sit 24 7 uh, every single day with them on the couch and cuddle as nice as this is because you have a life to live and there are certain times in your life where the way you plan your life and the things you do in life may not meet the interests of your partner. And so this is not about compromising. This is about saying like, okay, I, this is what I enjoy doing as well. And just make space for this and um, be, be upfront about it. Don't try to hide something and don't try to, um, you know, don't let this become an issue, if that makes sense. But it is important that you have a little bit of, well, actually, because we have to get more than just a little bit of um of self-sustained me time within your relationships right okay so that's really 
that's 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 really well, yeah, what it is for twenty twenty one with regards to love. We quickly go into <coughs> work and business and all these kind of things. My feeling is I don't want to do half an hour just on the overall energy because that can be tedious in the fact that it is much more interesting to you if we look at your star sign and what it will bring months by months by months. But it is important to overall see if there's actually opportunities coming or not. So we're looking at opportunities for 2021 with regards to anything that is um, related to um, work and income and all that kind of stuff. And what the guides are saying to you is that we have to, you have to, you ought to balance spirituality and practicality. So you are a spiritual person and new opportunities will come to you because your energy is, is powerful, is awesome. But you have to also learn to realize that um, sitting under a tree doing um, hugging 25,000 trees is awesome, but it doesn't sustain you with regards to you know paying rent and all that kind of stuff. And what they're saying is, but balance it out. Best case scenario, and this has always been my take on it because I've had this life where I worked in many massively big companies um, and then I've been fully, full-time self-employed since 2009. Before that, I was part-time self-employed, if that makes sense. But since 2009, I've been not, I, I haven't been doing anything else but what I came here to do. So I feel incredibly blessed and that's what the guides are saying is if 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 you find it difficult to balance out spirituality and practicality then 2021 because this is one of the opportunities that they're talking about is the year where if you focus on that's what i want to do i want to be that person i want to be me then that's what the guides will support and then we have and this is interesting surrender to the divine says it all, trust that there is no coincidence, trust that your life has purpose, trust that there's guides around you that help you with everything. So don't get too upset about things. There will always be a million, a million and one ways to tweak things and to get somewhere. But with regards to opportunities that lead to... Um, a more secure life, if that makes sense. What the guides are saying is surrender to the divine opportunities will arise. Look at them for what they are. And first and foremost, um, remember we're living in a world where a lot of people really, unfortunately, are not all that awake. Um, they don't feel themselves, don't understand what is out there in the universe that could help them. They don't ask for guidance. They don't ask for help. And you are a person that has that down to a T. And so what the guides are saying is you're not here to save everybody. Even if you do spiritual work for a living, you can only offer if people take it, that's fine. If they ultimately are not there yet, there's not much you can do or should be doing because people have to be ready before they take that journey, if that makes sense. And all you can do is provide that lifeline that gets them there. So <clears throat> that's what, 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 what 2021 is energetically. Um, what I'm getting is before we, we sort of close down the overall energy and go into your individual uh, year, is to realize that spirituality being the best version you can be is exactly what is needed for 2021. And I believe, based on the energy that I'm getting, this is really about a counterbalance, creating a counterbalance to all the things that are happening in the world. You know, everybody, I think the only topic really in 2020 was, was, was bloody COVID, right? And um, all that kind of stuff, which obviously puts a big damper 
dampener on all of us. And then look at how many businesses have suffered because of it. Look how many restrictions there are. Um, people become more isolated and have become more isolated, which is not good, if that makes sense. And that's what the guy said earlier. Tribe. You will find your tribe and you are part of the tribe. And so you, with your high energy, allow your tribe to do more than they were able to previously. So overall, the energy of 2021 is really high and it's a kick-ass energy. It's like do energy. It's not a do or die energy, but it's an energy where, they, where they're saying like, you know, we're sending you opportunities, but if you can sit there, I can't see them. Yeah, well, then you can't see them, right? Be proactive, be out there, have high energy, right? Do things and doers always do best, okay? So that was the overall energy. Remember, you will see this little clip for all or for all in, in all the 12 videos for the star signs because the overall energy applies to all star signs, therefore never changes, right? So, okay, that was that. And now we're looking into your own months by months breakdown, if the, for want of a better word, of your individual star sign. Yeah, let's do that. Hello, Aquarians. Let's see what the um, guides can tell you for your months by months assessment, so to speak, <laughs> of um, 2021. So here is your January. Here we go. Aquarians, January is a month where in order for you to kickstart 2021, you need to begin, is, is the word, to stand up. What the guides are saying is, and I think that's something you already know, you're not for everyone and sometimes you hang about too long. I have to say this, <clears throat> the scenario that the guides are giving me, <coughs> excuse me, is purely work related. So for anybody out there, Aquarius, in a relationship, this is not about relationships. This is purely about, it's not about relationship, but it's about um, more than just work. Because what the guides are saying to you is, you're not for everyone, but the feeling is um, that you are very kind and sometimes too kind <clears throat> and you give um, second choices, sorry, second chances and even third chances. And even though you know that people are not good for you, you sort of still try to support them. <coughs> That's what the guides are giving me. And what the guides are giving me too is for you to know, which is not rocket science, that um, you can't possibly keep this up because it drains your energy. And so once you realize that you're not here to help everybody, and you're also, no matter where you work, because again, they show me a workplace, um, you need to realize that you don't have to stay anywhere. But here's the important thing about that message for January, because you have Basically, trust the timing. Okay, so my feeling is simple. The feeling that the guys give me is simple. My feeling is that work, because that's what they show me, um, has issues. And um, things can only get better when you stand up for yourself. <clears throat> and if this is about leaving or about maybe moving within the company to another position, Trust the timing. You can't push it. You also should not have um, <laughs> knee-jerk reactions where you kind of go like, you know what? You can all F off. I'm, I'm out. <laughs> right? 
this is not the month to do it. What the guides are saying to you is changes will come and they are for the better, but you need to realize that you easily can be taken um, not only for granted, but you can also be taken advantage of simply because you, uh, energetically speaking, you know your stuff, you know a lot of things, <coughs> and um, so people will automatically just take, right? So in January, um, you have a new awareness, and the guides are saying to you, remember the overall energy, this is about do. So, and the guides are saying, so once you realize this again, it's time to change that, okay? So your January is not super difficult, but it is a month to wake up and to look at your patterns that allow others to take advantage of you, right? That was um, January, going into your February, which is also, if I'm not mistaken, around the time where your birthday should happen. Okay, <laughs> February is much different, energetically speaking, to January. It's a much lighter month. It's a much easier month. You have the message that you are protected by your guides. You are protected by angels and you are cherished by them. So these guys like you <laughs> and they're here for you no matter what. And... What they're asking you to do, what the guides are asking you to do in February, is to really just enjoy life. Okay, we all know that in February we have um, <clears throat> um, the, can't remember of, uh, the word, but we have that thing about love on the fifteenth. <laughs> can't the term? The term doesn't come to me. It doesn't really matter. Um, if the, the term will come to me, I, I write it here yeah, somewhere. <laughs> <coughs> Valentine's. There we go. See? Valentine. Why Valentine's is coming, which means yes, it can be few two ways. It can be way too um uh, too commercial, if that makes sense. But the energy of love is in the air. And all the guides are saying is use that to your advantage. Right? <clears throat> so Allow yourself in February to be fully in the now, enjoy life, enjoy what you're doing, look for, for, um, for passions, for, for your passion, and, book, and also look for pleasure. It feels <coughs> to me that sometimes, energetically speaking, uh, um, Aquarius, you sometimes think you don't deserve it when you're being treated well, and... Um, it doesn't matter if this is a, a trade that you came here with or a trade that you adopted because things happened to you. What the guides are saying is in February, prove everybody wrong and prove yourself wrong. Have a lot of fun. Okay, I can hear my cat. So um, before we go into March, I just want to let him out. Give me one second. In the end, it didn't go out because it is raining, it's actually pouring, so I get that. <laughs> so Aquarius, let's have a look at your march. Here we go. The energy so far of your 2021 reveals that things are getting better and better and better. Remember, while January was a bit difficult, February, you're beginning to really enjoy life. And in March, you're making more and more progress as you go along. In March is also um, a time where hmm, proper opportunities really show up. This is the time where you can really feel, wow, there's positive change happening. And this is the month where you are required to um, trust. Right? Because what the guides are saying is if you started something new, you will be just fine. Okay? So trust it. So March is going to be great. You hear that noise in the background. That's Fidget being on the loo. 
and the microphone picks up on the gravel. Here we go. <laughs> Aquarius, let's look at your um, your April. Shall I wait until he finished? Yeah, I wait until he finishes, so you have less uh, issues. Okay, <laughs> with with sound. Hello again. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me, he finally went out. Bless him. Aquarius, this is your April we're looking at. All right. In March, the guide said to you that um, new opportunities are coming away and you need to trust or ought to trust that you can do this. And in April, you need to, when I say need to, remember you have free will. It's just the way the guides make me feel this. There is an urgency of you to take the bull by the horns and say, I'm going to clear the air, I speak my mind, and I also finally trust that I'm better than I think I am. Really important for Aquarians in April, because what the guides are saying to you, if you take that leap of faith, um, and again, to me, this is all about the way they show it to me, this is not about relationship. So far, they're really not talking about love life, if that makes sense. What they're saying here is this is all about new opportunities that could hmm, improve your life on a work level. And if you think, well, you know, I'm retired or I'm self-employed, you know, whatever the guides are saying next uh, still applies to self-employed. It also applies to people who don't work because in essence, even though they're making this about people who are struggling with the work they're in, um, and telling them that in April things are all go. The same applies because the message is here is is to clear the air, and you can do this no, no matter can do this no matter where you are in life. And then what the guides are saying is, as you are entering new things, which is truly unknown territory. So my feeling is therefore that. You will be on a very new journey come April. And all the guides are saying is you are required to be brave because this is not just a new territory or unknown territory or a new beginning. This is a new wandering path. This is a new journey and all the guides are saying is well now that you started that new journey you might as well trust it because energetically speaking there's nothing negative here all they're saying is it's time to um get rid of the things that held you back and make really big changes in march and april but so far <coughs> excuse me april is the months after you know remember in march is said like really big opportunities are coming in April is where you really kickstart, right? So make a note, a mental note in your diary um, to, um, yeah, well, kick butt <laughs> in, in March and April because you can do it, right? The guides are quite, are quite clear on it, right? Let's go into May. May of 2021 for Aquarius. Aquarius. You have the crow and the mouse. And all they're saying is, no matter what happens in life, you are in the middle of transformation. Which makes sense because remember, obviously life is a flow or continuous flow. And um, with all the changes that March and April had, what they're saying to you in May, you are on this new journey and you may not know where you're going. And the guides say, it doesn't matter. Keep going. <clears throat> the other thing about energy in May for Aquarius, Aquarians is that as changes come to you, nobody can mislead you. You can just see things the way they are and therefore whatever happens 
on your journey. You can figure things out quite easily. Use your intuition, um, trust your intuition, that's what it's there for. But you're still going through changes and transformation in May and it feels like, oh my God, I hope I did the right thing. And that's something that I get in identity for Aquarians is don't do that. Don't go into like, oh, I hope I did the right thing, what if? Don't go into any what ifs because they don't change a thing. Trust. You have made changes. You will have made changes by, 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 by uh, March, April, March and April, certainly in May, you're, you're, you're in the middle of, midst of change. <clears throat> and all the guides are saying is don't undo all that, right? By, 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 by doubting, right? Because as you know, um, if you are in a new situation, things will take time because before you figure out what to do and how to feel comfortable there. So just go with the flow. And all the guides are saying that's, the only thing you need to do in May is to go with the flow. Okay? So, Aquarians, here is your June 2021 energetically as far as the guides can say or want to say. <coughs> in, in June is the first time since the new, be, new year, since January, if that makes sense, where you can finally rest a little it, it feels like you know especially with your march april uh, uh thing um that finally you sort of take a breather and you're kind of like okay i don't necessarily I, I wouldn't necessarily say that you feel you're fully home yet um but you certainly have come a long way and all the guys are saying is you can take a breather because we got you the universe has got your back. Everything is, is in divine order. Um, and you just say like, okay, now I can sort of um, do things a little easier without less worries. And um, that's what the guides are saying to you. <coughs> They're also saying to you in June, or for the month of June, that <laughs> new opportunities are still coming. It's not over. You may think I'm on that path and now... That leads me somewhere, it leads you wherever you want to go. So all the guides are saying is there's still opportunities coming to you in June that allow you to reflect on what to do. Um, that's all. So all they're saying is you're, you're, not, you're not trapped anywhere. Opportunities are still coming your way. Uh, remember the overall energy. This is a year where opportunities and new doors are opening, new portals are opening. So that all fits, which is great. <clears throat> and all they're saying is use the energy and make that year a year that counts, right? So perfect. Now let's go into your July. Okay. In July, you finally arrive. Um, at a point where you feel safe, right? You have um, the feeling that you've been through the worst and now you can see that you have made progress. And that's really important because in July, you're also beginning to heal from everything and anything that happened that led you to this new journey. And because the, the new journey uh, seems to be a busy one, you haven't had time to reflect. And in July, and I think this is the idea um, oftentimes about summer, um, <laughs> whatever that means, <laughs> is that um, things slow down a little, right? And, and all the guides are saying is because it slows down a little, what your soul will do is look at the things that are still painful and will attempt to heal them. And all they're saying to you is the more you're open to that, the more time you make for it, the easier healing will be, right? So that was July going into your August. We're looking at 2021 for the star sign Aquarius.
August. <coughs> Excuse me. August's energy 2021 is very different to the energy of the previous months, if that makes sense. So we're now in month seven of um, 2021. Remember the guides were saying that opportunities are still coming? In August, it is time for you to already reflect on the journey you've just been on to see if this is where you're not taking advantage of. Have you made that connection? Have you put boundaries in place? This is the month, August, to reflect if this is happening. <coughs> notice your words in August, notice how you speak, are you encouraging people to take advantage of you, are you actually telling them when too much is too much and um, that's important and then in, in August because we talked about um, healing in July, um, that's also a month in August where you're still healing from older stuff and therefore you need to be a little bit more elusive, which makes sense because if people are not constantly on your back, you just do your job, you just do your work. Um, and you can, you can easily heal without having 25,000 people chasing you because they want you to do things, right? That was August 2021, uh, August, September. Let's go into your September 2021 for Aquarians. I have to say this, the way this all feels here. This is quite a powerful year, even though it is not without difficulties, <coughs> but the difficulties are in the fact that everything is new and maybe overwhelming. And that makes a lot of sense because in September, look what you got, they're saying Release control, surrender to the journey, right? You have arrived, now just go with the flow. And you got answering the call, which means the time is now. That's your time. You have finally made a massive leap and it is coming to fruition. Things are really on the up after what feels like a little bit of a difficult healing. Um, e yeah, so uh, in, in September, also your healing of the previous months will come to a point where it makes you feel lighter and it makes you feel, yeah, I really did something here. Awesome. So, so far, I have to say for Aquarians, you got a powerful year, even though uh, at times you need to, excuse me, <coughs> <coughs> push things forward. So that was your September going into October 2021 for the star sign of Aquarius. October feels like you are sometimes looking back at old patterns and because you haven't let go of all the patterns that made your life difficult, um, this might be a month where you have to realize that there are still people in your new life, new life, new life, um, that's how it feels, <coughs> who are sussing you out and see, and it's not, they're not necessarily negative people or bad people, it just feels like they're looking at you and they can see how many, how much, how many skills you have and how aware you are of situations because your, your spirituality, your visions explode in, in 2021. Really cool. But come October, you will feel a little bit, oh, I'm a bit low energetically, I'm a bit boxed in and people can sense that and very likely will pay attention to that and probably even <coughs> try to take advantage of it, right? So what they're saying to you is you have the strength of a panther, right? literally speaking, and so don't be the leopard that hides inside said panther, 
don't hide your strengths. And as a matter of fact, be on guard, right? Because your uniqueness is what makes you you. And when people take advantage of you and sort of tell you what they think you ought to be doing right now, even if they mask it as, as advice, you know, let me just say, I, I've been watching you here, you're, you're pretty new here, this is how we do things. I shouldn't be swearing when I do my videos, but fuck them. <laughs> really, really important. You do your thing, you will be totally fine. Don't listen to advice and remember how spiritual you are. It's impossible for people to lie to you unless you let them. You can see right through it. And that's one of those cases because they can sense your weakness in the month of October. Um, all the guys are saying is therefore be on the ball, right? <clears throat> so going into your November, we're looking at the year of 2021. So far, quite a powerful year, even though it is challenging, but then again, logically speaking, which year hasn't been, you know, kind of thing. You're, wow, you're making more and more progress. I mean, this is the year of progress for Aquarians. Awesome. You have what they, ter what they term um, a new earth, which means it's all happening for you. You know, you, you, <coughs> you went on that journey you, you keep going, yes, you have months like, you know, like summer where you also all of a sudden feel like, whoa, stuff inside me that needs to heal. And in October where you feel like, well, well what's happening? <coughs> but come November, what the guides are saying is, you just keep, that what they're asking you, just keep holding the vision. Trust that the vision that you have inside you, that you deserve more and that you go places, it's happening. You go places. And what they're asking you to realize is that you have um, very powerful ideas in November. Also, the feeling is, and this is not just the quarians, but this, because we said star sign, it's important to mention this. Um, we all come from the stars. And the, the, the Pleiades is our spiritual home. And Pleiades energy is all around you in November. So your guides really are reconnecting with you. And they again say that to you, Aquarians. We got you. Don't fall back into like, oh, I'm, sure, I'm not sure if this is all right. Don't answer that doubt that sort of lingers inside. It's almost like, you know, you have a little figure on your shoulder and he goes like that's not gonna work <coughs> that's what you do to him <laughs> right <coughs> don't give in to to self-doubt it's a killer right and all the guides are saying is if you just keep holding the vision after a sort of low energy october you can see that the bigger picture means you are progressing even more this is a good year for aquarians you just have to trust it, right? Going to the final months of 2021 for Aquarians. Here is your December. <laughs> okay, the reason why I sort of chuckle about this is <coughs> this is not a year where you have any option to stand still because you have the barn owl and the rabbit. So what that means is your opportunities are now numerous there's much more happening for you much better um, options for you to actually go places and the rabbit is basically saying that to you the rabbit holes go deep and there's plenty of them so even though this is the month of christmas and again you know um, everybody's a bit weird in a good way in december <laughs> so most people don't make any plans for their journeys at the time when everything is about, you know, Christmas trees <laughs> kind of thing. And what the guides are saying to you is, if you wanted to, at the end of the year 2021, you will realize that this journey that you've been on is still in progress. It's not your final destination until you want to make it your final destination. And all the guides are saying is, 
at no stage of your life, especially in 2021, which is a kick-ass year for you, um, should you allow yourself to doubt that opportunities have come and gone, right? So the rabbit is basically telling you, you want to do another round, another, another journey? You want to go even further? Let's manifest that. You can do that. So I have to say this, Aquarians, you probably obviously noticed this from watching it. <coughs> there wasn't a lot of negativity in that year for you. All it was was where bravery is needed. And I think I said that in the, um, in the overall energy that in 2021, we're all being rewarded for bravery. And Aquarius, Aquarians, you definitely are going to be rewarded for bravery, right? So be brave. And, and just go, go with the flow, make changes. Don't allow the feeling of being trapped to become your reality. Okie dokie, awesome. <laughs> Wish you all the best. See you soon. Bye-bye.